welcome to today's lesson, graphing on the coordinate plane. Last lesson, we identified parts of the coordinate plane, the axes, the origin, and the quadrants. We also talked about something called an ordered pair. Today, we're going to use an ordered pair to graph points. The first part of my ordered pair is the x-coordinate. It's going to tell us how many to go left or right. The next part of my ordered pair is called my y-coordinate, and it's going to tell me how far to travel up or down. When I graph 1, 2, I'm going to first travel 1 and second travel 2. So let's take a look at what that looks like when I'm graphing on the coordinate plane. I'm going to always start here at my origin. And from my origin, I'm looking at my x-axis first. It tells me to travel 1 from my ordered pair. So I'm going to travel from my origin 1 to the right. The next part of my ordered pair says 2. So that's telling me how far to travel up or down. Since it's a positive 2, I'm going to travel up. And then I'll place my point. So 1, 2 is located right here. Let's try another example. Negative 2, 4. I'm still going to start at my origin every single time, but this time I'm going to be traveling 2 to the left because I'm looking for negative 2. Next, I look at my y coordinate. It tells me to go to 4, which is up. So I will travel up 4. And then I'll place my point. So this location means negative 2, 4. Let's look at another example. This time I have 4 and negative 3. Still, I start at my origin, and then I'm going to travel 4 to the right. Once I get here, I'm going to travel 3 down this time instead of up because it asked for negative 3. I place my point, and this represents 4, negative 3. What if my point is already graphed? Well, for this, I'm going to start at my origin, and I'm going to move left or right first. So I'm going to end up moving to the right 2 because that is directly underneath my point. Then I have to move up 1. So this ordered pair, because I moved 2 on the x-axis and 1 up, must be 2, comma 1. Notice that there's parentheses written around it. This point has me starting at the origin, and I'm traveling 3 to the left this time to get to negative 3, which is directly under my point. Then I'm going to end up traveling 4 up. So this point is negative 3, 4, with parentheses around it. Next I'll look at this point. I'm going to start at my origin, but I notice something interesting. After I go from my origin to my point, negative 2, there's nowhere to go up or down because I'm already at my point. So this must mean that I have a y-coordinate of 0. So my ordered pair is negative 2, 0. Anytime I see 0 for my y-coordinate, I know that I must be on the x-axis. Last example. I'm going to start at my origin here. And there's nowhere to go left or right because my point is directly below, which means that my x-coordinate this time is 0. And my y-coordinate, I'm traveling down 4, so that's going to be 0, negative 4. And any time that you see a 0 as your x-coordinate, you know that you're on the y-axis. Let's see if we can find where each of these points are located. Pause the video and try on your own. If I start from my origin, I notice that I'm going to be traveling backwards to negative 4. Now, I can see that each of my lines is not labeled by 1 at a time. Instead, it's 2 at a time. So do pay attention to the way that your graph is labeled. So I travel to the left 4, and then I travel down to get to negative 4. So I have gone negative 4 and negative 4. So my point is negative 4, negative 4. For point B, I don't have to travel left or right, so my x coordinate should be 0. And my y coordinate, I can see it's sitting at point 6, so that is 0, 6. For point C, I travel to the right 4, and I travel down 8, 
So that would be at 4 comma negative 8. Let's wrap up. We talked about how this is an ordered pair and that the first number in our ordered pair is the x coordinate, which tells us to go left or right first. And the second part of our ordered pair is our y coordinate, which tells us to go up or down second. Our steps to graphing were to always start at the origin. First go left, right using the x coordinate and then go up, down using the y coordinate. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you never miss a new lesson. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.